Uh, hello. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Sorry for the lack of song. I don't have a Thursday afternoon trucking song. So can we have a very quick AV check to get us going here? How are we all doing? Have you had a good week? Oregon is almost here. I think you've got... Is it one hour? Something like that? AV's 10 out of 10. That'll do. Happy anniversary. Yeah, I think you've got one hour before Oregon releases. Um, Did I... Get you in the P.O. Box, Captain JC. I think I remember seeing something for the P.O. Box today. Uh, yesterday, actually. Oh, my life. Mr. Lonely Wolf has dropped five subs. We've only just started here. Has gifted us up to the Harvin. Peter Acton. Uh, Camo Man. Kitchen King and Pavel Sabor. Thank you very much, Mr. Lonely Wolf, for dropping five subs f less than five minutes into the stream. Thank you. If you got a sub gifted, don't forget to thank Mr. Lonely Wolf. It's a sub bomb. I like that. Little sub. Looks like a hot dog. Happy anniversary. <laughs> um, I think you can. Raging uh, Nebula. I think you can sub from mobile now. Certainly from Android, I think you can sub. Not 100% on iOS. The Harvin, how you doing? You wish they would do Colorado. Happy Just enjoy Oregon. <clears throat> so, firstly, I have an apology to make. Uh, you know on Sunday, when we was in Sunday Night Trucking and the game crashed, it was because I was on the wrong map version. I was on um, a pre-release build, and they'd done a press build, which I neglected to switch to, which is why it crashed. So my apologies for that. Uh, the map is stable. I was on the wrong version. So, yeah. It'll be fine for release. Yep, fail me. Absolute fail me. <laughs> I missed the email that said, use this branch when you show this thing. Completely missed it. Went on the version that I had and rip. Uh, Jen Hu, welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Lonely Wolf. Uh, Bigfoot, let me add to the Thursday Risa Bomb. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Bigfoot. Thank you very much. Blazing Puppies from 9 months Twitch Baby. Michael Pierce with 13 months. Large Woman 16. An hour to go. Average Aussie Gamer with 13. Free Gamer, welcome back. Celtic with 7. Quick Rusa popping up. Need to get stuff packed for our trip up North Yorkshire this weekend. Nice. I hope the weather holds. Sir Leonard, thank you very much. Alex Wilson, thank you very much. Welcome back. Pritali with 32. Kenny Bird with 2 months. Long way to go to get a new nut. Not that long. You got one more month. Beaker, welcome back. Alex Wilson says, two months gain, lad. <laughs> Looking forward to Cosweek, Cosford this weekend. Yes, uh, I head off in the morning, flammable supernova. I'll be there around lunchtime-ish. Uh, so I'm at the hotel on Friday evening, and then I'll be all day at the show. Um, and then drinks on Saturday night, head back Sunday morning. That's the rough plan. <laughs> I have no other plan other than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Stephanie Amy with 16 Changed gender and changed name But still supporting the best streamer on Twitch Stephanie Amy, thank you very much I uh, hope that went well for you Bones Iron, welcome back uh, Tepper with 33 months, good afternoon Jules with 200 bits, no subbing for iOS yet There you go uh, Thank you Twitch Teaser I love you too TPN Drew, thank you for 25 months Calloran with 9, 9 months already Thank you Calloran uh, Tails the Wolf Welcome to the Nethouse Tales. Thank you for your support. And Dan Rofat, thank you for two months, sir. How to participate in the giveaway. Uh, all will be explained. It's very easy. I will tell you when I'm doing a giveaway and what you need to do to enter. It's very, very simple. <clears throat> Welcome back, Raging Nebula. Guess you figured it out, sir. Right, let's have a look where we are. So uh, I'm sure you, you've seen the map for Oregon, presumably. We drove a whole load of it on Sunday. Uh, if not, put your hand up and I'll... Way. I don't like the look of you. Put your hand up and I'll explain things. Bigfoot with 461 very specific bits. Just to tell you, the AI, you don't like the look of them and to get out of your way. <laughs> Thank you, Bigfoot. Uh, hand up. Okay. So there are 14 new cities um, in Oregon. There will be a video going out uh, maybe in about two hours. It's not quite ready. Uh, I'll be doing a video to cover this as well. But there are 14 cities. Um, that we drove on Sunday. 
it's quite a varied terrain, Oregon. There's a lot of forestry going on, but there's also a lot of um, kind of prairie land, desert land. Uh, there's quite a few twisted roads. You'll see a lot of log camps, uh, a lot of sawmills. There's a huge logging industry. Uh, so you'll see things like factories over here, uh, over here, and uh, industry over there. And then as you get particularly up northwest, you'll find there's lots of these um, forestry things going on. Anytime you see twisty roads like this, chances are it goes into the middle of a forest where you can pick up logs. Uh, there's a big one here, quite a big one there as well. Um, yeah, 14 cities it connects in to um, California, Nevada, as you can see. Uh, there are a lot of bridges as well because there's a lot of water in Oregon, a lot of rivers and that kind of thing. So you'll see tons of tons of bridges. Um, and this is one of my favorite roads down here, the 101. If you if you want to take some a nice road, maybe pick up your get to Eureka, and then try and take a job and go along this 101 because it's a cracking drive up there. Uh, so I think the DLC releases in about 50 minutes, something like that. That's the schedule. Um, but I've got some keys to give away. So, um, and these keys are special keys. I didn't mention this, did I? These are special keys. If you win one of these keys, when you punch it in, it will unlock immediately Oregon DLC. No having to wait or anything like that. Uh, and that comes courtesy of Pavel from SCS. So very, very kind of him to give us those keys, those special keys. So I think what we'll do is before we sort of head off here, I think, um, I think maybe we'll give away two keys to start with get you going and then maybe some roughly after every trip or so i'll chuck another key out that kind of thing so many thanks to scs for that and uh we'll do a little giveaway in a second uh rob jensen welcome back dark verbal has gifted a sub to prema 35 and also to alex viper 80 thank you dark verbal and uh welcome back firefighter I will explain how to enter, Mr. Storm. Do you think I would run a giveaway and not tell you how to enter? That would be pointless. <laughs> right, let's do this. Welcome back. So I need to Mata. flick over and grab some keys. Now, what happens when you, if you win a key, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to message a moderator uh, so that we can get your new key sorted to you. Where's my OBS gone? Happy anniversary. There it is. Because I need to change that to that so you can actually see the giveaway screen. Uh, can we have English in chat though, sir? Thank you. Um, right, so we're going to do two keys, I think we said. Uh, so what I will do is I will message my mod team with the keys. Uh, Welcome back, Nata. Uh, who are the moderators? They're the guys with the green sword next to their names. <laughs> uh, I think we've got uh, Mutley, Tamashanta so far. Right, so it's very simple. Very simple uh, to win a key. Uh, we're going to put the sub multiplier on two, which means the subs have a slightly increased chance, but everybody can win. Uh, AR15, uh, sorry, AR14 Life, welcome to the house. Chop Suey, thank you for 21 months. And Ice Dig, thank you for 21 as well. Uncanny. And Meatloaf with 21. That's scary. Right, so I'm going to put a keyword into here, okay? And then when I click open, what you need to do is you need to put exclamation mark, yeah, which is shift one probably on your keyboard, and then whatever keyword this is, and then press enter. That's all you need to do. That will register your entry in the giveaway. What you don't want to do is use capital letters or put it in more than once. You don't want to do those things. Yeah, just put it in once in lowercase and you will be in the giveaway. Anything else and you may be taken back out again because the bot will take you out if you try to enter more than once. So you have been warned. If you don't win, it's rigged. Well, everybody says that. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Uh, Rob Jansen, 13 months. Uh, isn't an unlucky number being part of the Nut House? <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Cyber Cyberix, welcome to the Nut House. B14, welcome to the Nut House. Thank you, guys. Welcome back, Nut Are we all good? You didn't mean to press end. <laughs> right, so I'm going to think of a keyword. 
And then when I say to you, the giveaway is open, that's when you can put exclamation mark and the keyword, okay? Welcome back, Nata. I try. I try and keep it simple, you know? I try. <laughs> right, the keyword is going to be... Um, let's think of a keyword. Welcome back. Nata. All those exclamation marks and shout. I, I, yeah. I, I, you know. Right, let's just go keep it simple this time with Oregon. Right, the keyword is open. That's what you need to put into chat right there. Exclamation mark Oregon. To the nut house. That's what you need to put in chat. That will put you into the giveaway. Exclamation mark Oregon. Just enter once in the lowercase and you'll be good. Uh, right. Well, I'm just gonna message to the, the mods house. with the first two keys. Right, mods, if you look in mod team chat, you should see two keys. So whoever wins them, when they whisper to you, you can give them a key. That's a lot of Oregon. You'd hope so. Right, meanwhile, I'll just jump back in the game and we'll go and pick up this uh, trailer. I've lined up a trailer. Now, don't forget, these keys will unlock instantly, so you don't need to wait uh, for the Oregon release. They will unlock instantly. Um, where the heck are we going here? I'm not exactly sure where the pickup point is now. Welcome back. Welcome. Uh, Snugs, yeah, I can't allow team members to enter, unfortunately, because if they win, we'll have a flurry of messages saying it's rigged. So, unfortunately, yeah, you guys can't enter. Sorry. If I see a member of the Squirrel TV team come up in the winners list, I'll be drawing again. <laughs> right, cargo market. So I picked this one because it takes us to Klamath Falls and to Lakeview, um, which is kind of interesting because I don't have these two unlocked at the moment. So I thought we'll take some office supplies and do that. Sorry, Mad Mick. But, you know, you know how it is. I'm just going to give people a chance to enter, then we'll draw. To the nut house. Mr. Mike, thank you for 20 months. Booch with two months. Uh, NJM with 13. Another unlucky number. What a coincidence. I'm working from home. How hot. Wait, what are we picking this thing up? To the I'm getting worried here. Hey, Presley. Yeah, Connor. I know. I agree. Oh, my God. Happy um, I don't think we can actually get that trailer in, though. This is going to be interesting. I think this trailer is too long. We do indeed have a, a problem. It's going to take a bit of shuffling, this one. <laughs> Alright, as soon as we collect these, I shall draw the raffle, so get your entries in. I mean, again, it ends one thing. We've still got to get it out as well. Happy anniversary, He's going to ask Paul something, but I realised I asked him that last stream. <laughs> Blimey. This is not exactly an easy start, is it? It's 
why I don't own this trailer delivery stuff. Eh, you got like a bit of a challenge now and again. It's come back triple all the way. There we go, cargo's loaded. Right, I've got my cup of tea as well, which is a bonus. Let me uh, flick back. And we shall... Right, are we all ready to draw the winners now? <clears throat> Whoever, I'm going to draw two winners. We're going to give more keys later, okay? But we've got two uh, two keys to give away at this point. This will unlock the Oregon DLC right now for you. It's a special key. It's not a, a normal key. If you win, I will be asking you to whisper a mod, and they will send you your key, okay? That's the way it's going to work. And if you don't whisper a mod, well, rip. Somebody else will get drawn. Okay, so here we go. We're going to draw the first name. Boom, there's the first name. Indy, Indigenous Navi or something like that. Okay, the only requirement, by the way, is that you're following. I forgot to mention that. Indigenous Navi, if you want to go ahead uh, and whisper one of the mods, mods, just make sure that the name is very exact. I will paste it for you into the mod team chat. There you go. That's the first winner. If you want to go ahead and whisper one of the mods, uh, either Mutley or uh, Tamashanta, I think, are active, uh, they will whisper you your key back, okay? Okay, we'll give you like 10 minutes, and if you don't whisper a mod, then I'll give that key out later. That's the way we're going to do this. Right, second winner, all right? Well, it's your Twitch... Raging Nebula, it's your Twitch name, mate, because you're doing a Twitch whisper. You're not, you're not doing it on Discord. Discord has nothing to do with it, Rage and Nebula. It's all happening on Twitch. You're going to Twitch whisper a mod. Right? Forget Discord. <laughs> okay, second winner is the Classic 36. The Classic 36. I'll, I'll put that name into mod chat as well. Second winner. There you go. All right, so you winners, Indigenous Navi and the Classic 36, you need to whisper uh, one of the mods and they'll get that key over Welcome to you. Um, if, you if, if, the mod, if the key remains unclaimed, then I'll just recycle it for later. All right, we'll give it out later. But we're going to do a bit of driving, then I'll give away another key. That's the way we're going to do it, all right? So congrats to the winners. Many GGs. And um, let's go on and deliver some stuff. I also have a little bit of a cup of tea. Uh, produce this. Welcome back. Sir Gideron, Brian Cohen, welcome to the house. Game of Vassaus, 27 months from Australia. Hope all is well, sir. Thank you. Hope you're well. Realistic with 11 months. W. Buckman, 31. Mr. Mike with 20. Booch with 2. Um, and the rest, I think, I'm up to date on. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the route here. So we're going to take off out of Medford. We're going to cross back over. Uh, into California. There's no east-west road between Medford and Klamath Falls, interestingly. And going that way is far too long, so we're, go we're doing this kind of weird pattern to get over there. I don't know what happens with the VNL. I have no clue uh, what the release date is for VNL. Nothing's been announced that I'm aware of. Getting out of there was a lot easier than getting in. Uh, Squirrel, how did the real flight go on the exams? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> that was yesterday, wasn't it? That was Wednesday. So yesterday, I flew in a Piper Alpha Warrior 2 aircraft, which I've never flown in before. So that was quite interesting. I had a little 30-minute teaser session in the Piper, because I've been learning on Robins. Um, and that was that was cool actually. It it uh, it handles very differently to a Robin. It's actually a super super stable aircraft. I can't believe it. Like the Robin just gets thrown around like a paper bag. The 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 Warrior was just so steady, so steady in the air. It, you point a heading and it pretty much sticks to it. 
Uh, and then after I did my flying, I had my mock exam for the radio stuff. I have I have a radio exam to do. I've passed all my PPL. This is a radio exam, um, which you need you need a license to use the radio basically. So you need to get your radio license done. Uh, so I did a mock exam, which is about a 45 minute exam where you put your headset on and uh, plug yourself into a bit of equipment and uh, you go through a flight from start to finish with uh, the examiner who's acting as the ATC. And it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. It was made slightly more, slightly worse by the fact that one of the students there um, said to the examiner, well, not my instructor who was playing the examiner, he said, is it all right if I listen in? And I'm sat there thinking, I don't need this extra pressure. I don't, I don't need to know that there's somebody else sat there listening to this conversation. So, uh, but that's what he did. He sat there and listened to the whole thing. But it was an eye-opener in many ways. I did pretty well. My examiner said, um, he said you did really well. He said if you'd have done, if that was the real exam, you'd have passed no problem. I picked up on a lot of stuff. There's a few mistakes I made, but it's all like tiny details, you know. It wasn't any of the big stuff. Uh, produce this. Thank you for two months. So yeah, I've got my exam on Monday. I've got my radio exam on Monday. And once I've got that, I send off my PPL license. And I've got to wait. I've got to wait for it to come back. In the UK, you can get a PPL without a radio operator certificate. Yes, it's weird. In Canada, you get it as part of the student training. Strike Eagle, to me, it makes no sense, mate. To the nut house. I, I agree with the way Canada does it. I don't agree with this. It's just weird. But yeah, so uh, I've got that to do, and then I get my PPL. Once I get my paper back, I can take passengers up. Afternoon, Andy Drew, how are you doing? When's my next solo video? Um, what I'm going to do, Zigtronic, let me tell you my plan here, alright? So yesterday I flew the Piper Alpha Warrior. Next week I'm booked into the Cessna 172, right? Then I make a decision about which plane I want to cross-train on. Cross-training takes about four hours, something like that. About four hours tuition. Once I'm cross-trained, that's the plane I'll be flying. And that's when I'm going to get the GoPros out and do a video. You want to do a commercial pilot in the UK, specifically Scotland? It's hard to do training. Yeah, you've got the weather problem in Scotland, really. Don't know why I'm in the hard shoulder. Not paying attention. I don't know, Kielmowski. I, I can't work out if Mrs. School wants to fly with me or not. I think she does, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, you have to cross-train to TW, so... Although although I'm, I can fly a single-engine aircraft, before the school will let me rent, like, a Cessna or a, a Warrior, they want to make sure I know I can fly it, because some of the things are different. Like, on the Warrior, you've got to worry about your fuel tanks left and right, and you've got to switch over the fuel tanks. And the flap is a lever, it's not electrical flap. And there's lots of little differences, you know, where the equipment is, how it functions, uh, different glide speeds. Like, there's, there's details that you have to learn before they'll let you take it up. How long before you can fly out of Hong Kong, Chief? Hey? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean, sir. Seven three seven five hundred Jeff. Like I say, I have I have no information at the moment. I know it is G's Top Gun reference. I realise that. You can bypass the way station. Oh good. Stop beeping at me. You can fly only propeller planes. He plans to fly some jets. Nah. I can only fly single engine prop as well. If you want to do multi-engine, you've got to train on that as well. 
because you have other things to worry about with multi-engine. <laughs> so yeah, and then I want to go into winter and do my night rating, and then next year think about my instrument stuff. Instrument rating's about 15 hours, I think, of training. We'll see. Devazar, thank you for two years. Enjoy the golden acorn, Devazar. Uh, let's see. Jace Maystar. 300 bits, excited for Oregon hype. Can't wait to drive it. You'll be there shortly. What is it, 30 minutes till release? Is the VA now coming to ATS? We'll have to wait for an announcement. played the game in VR but I generally don't play it in VR because I, th I generally stream it or record for YouTube so I don't like if you're playing it on your own you can play it in VR it's not bad like the, the inside of the cockpit feels really nice in VR but looking out the window is in a way not much more of a benefit to just having track IR and a high res monitor in my opinion Same with flying. Flying's the same, you know. But with flying, it's even even less of a benefit because, like, everything's so far away that the benefit of 3D is is minimised. If you see what I mean, the inside of the cockpit looks great, but if you're looking 2,000 foot down on the ground, you know, having two eyes instead of one isn't a massive benefit. I don't know when the Baltics coming out. Some resubs that have missed Captain Flint, I'm not surprised, dude. For example, yours. <laughs> oh, this is a nice... This is a nice bit, isn't it? Like, alongside the river and stuff. Very nice. Um, Captain Flint, I forgot the magic phrase. Uh, there's still more keys, so I never win anything. Everybody says that. You might get lucky, you don't know. Looks like both keys got claimed. So, congrats to the winners. Where is it on the map? Let's have a look. Just south of Holmbrook, okay? So, it's like we're, we're dipping into um, California, which is why we're at 55 miles an hour. Then we're going to head back out and go back into Oregon. Then I think we dip back out again and go back into Oregon. Because there is no east-west road uh, that we can take. Welcome back, Nevo. Uh oh. I'm reading the classic, trying to understand what he means, and I've just completely missed my turn off, so rip me. Because it's a very long way now. South. That's that's a turn off you don't want to miss. <laughs> I was reading like the classics message, thanks for the key, and I'm thinking, hang on, you wasn't a winner, and then I look back and I've missed the turn off. Rip a doodle do. Oh man. We gotta go all the way to red. No, this is no good. We're not gonna get to see Oregon if we do this. Oh, I'm squirrels cheating again. Oh, the classic was a winner. Sorry. You were. You was a winner. I've lost it. I've lost the plot. Ignore me. You was a winner. You was the second winner. Durr. I thought you were winding me up. Yeah, the classic one, an indigenous navy. I think one. Okay, why don't you want to start? There we go. Uh, I'm cheating again. Uh, did I miss anybody else then? Produce this for two months. Devoon, welcome back. Spec sound 46. Punak for two months. Thanks for two months. And school logistics, welcome back. Upper Lenters for two months. I think that's most of you. I might have missed some. I'm suffering from Thursday morning syndrome. 
I'm not sure what it is. I'm not really cheating, Night Talk. It's just a joke we have. Uh, it's a DLC getting released worldwide in 30 minutes. I believe so. However, Steam being Steam, like when they push the button over at SCS, like, it won't instantly happen. Like, different regions will propagate round. So, it normally happens within like 10 minutes or so. American Motel. Edward T. No, I've, uh, I've recorded The Apprentice, um, but I need to find a time to sit down with the wife and my daughter to watch it, because we like to watch it together, you see. Expected release time harm. They posted on the blog uh, 1400 UTC, which is 1500, 1500 UK time. So, hence why it should release in about 25 minutes. Uh, Edwards Racer. Welcome to the Net House, Edwards. Thank you very much for your support, sir. Have you handed Easter eggs? I have, Beaker, but I'm a bit reluctant to tell you about them because some people might want to discover them for themselves. I'll tell you one of them, but I won't tell you where it is. All right, one of them is a guy dancing on a roof, but I won't tell you where it is. You'll have to find it. I drink that before it gets cold. Narrows it down. <laughs> well, at least you know where to look. On a roof. <laughs> uh, no, Regin W. 1400 UTC is a very specific time. What your local time zone, what your local time is, is different. Do you live in the UK, Regin Nebula? If you do, it releases, it releases at 3 o'clock. I have no idea, bro. No idea. Uh, did you see a W900 being replaced by a W990? Nope. NPR was this. Everyone's losing their mind. Golden Standard. Uh, I don't know the exact details, uh, Matto. Gold's probably got some of the DLC. Some of the maps, maybe. I did, Connor. If you remember, I was uh, I was at SCS when they when they released New Mexico. Thanks, Hazel Hubby. Beaker, it was a, I think it was just agreed quite a while back to get rid of GMT and call it UTC. It was probably the French that complained the most, since the UTC is actually a French acronym. Jules, what are you failing me at, bro? AR15 has just gifted five subs to Mr. Zello, Cookie Monster, Drew156, Cop365, and Aspas on fire. AR15, thank you very much. Or AR154. I should probably call you. Thank you for the sub bomb. It's very kind. <clears throat> it should really be UCT, Universal Central Time. That's what it should be, but it's UTC. Because France. 
I think they petitioned as well at some point to move the um, the uh, Prime Meridian from London to Paris, and everybody went, nope. <laughs> like, no. Just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> No, it stands for something like Universal Time Co No, it's... What's, this, what's the acronym? Universal Time Coordinator or something is what it is. I can't remember. It should be Universal Coordinated Time, not Universal Time Coordinated, because it's French. Something like that. Oh, Lakeview hype. Look at that. Did he give it all? Yeah, they're all gone now. That is a nice view. That is a real nice view. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'd like to visit Oregon. It looks like a really... Um, Really pretty state, you know. All the lakes and the trees, you know, and the, and bits of mountain and stuff. That is a full-on crossroad. Look at that little log, little log thing up there, log hut. I bet most of the houses are made out of wood. I failed to never get the right road, Jules. I did. I blame chat. BCS fifth, uh, 62 months, BCS. Another month is over. Let's keep it trucking with Squirrel. Thank you very much, BCS. Say hi to Cindy for me. Now entering Klamath Falls. You haven't got one more hour for Oregon. You've got 20 minutes, dude. <laughs> Actually, technically, it was your fault, Train Sim fan. Right, so that's where we are at the moment. We're at uh, Klamath Falls. Then we're going to dip back down here, swing back around and come back up <clears throat> to Lakeview. I've got a lot of tractors behind me. I've got a bit of a convoy going. <laughs> How's it going, not bad? 90% of Oregon's population is in the northwest corner of the state. The rest of the state is mostly untouched nature. Why is that? What's the reason for that? People like to live by the coast. Well... Yeah, but... Beaker! This has been bothering me for weeks. Is this sound like custard from rhubarb and custard? No, it's um, it's from Sherlock Holmes, Beaker. Do you not remember when I did a playthrough of Sherlock Holmes? And one of the characters in it, when I looked at him, he went, I don't like the look of you. And we basically soundbited it. <laughs> 